Hello and welcome to the Mindful in Minutes podcast, a guided meditations podcast brought to you by Yoga For You. I'm Kelly and today I'll be leading you through your meditation. So go ahead and get comfortable, settle in, and enjoy your meditation practice. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. So I like to take care of my mind through daily meditation and trying to practice mindfulness whenever I can. I've also started dabbling in journaling, but hands down, one of my favorite ways to take care of my mind is through therapy. Therapy has truly saved my life. It has helped me so many times in my life, and it is something that I love and I think is such a useful tool for people, not just when you're struggling, but also when things are going well, and then you can really do some of that internal work work. And that is where BetterHelp comes in. It is online therapy that offers videos, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I love online therapy. I can just roll out of bed and have a therapy session. I can still, you know, wear my slippers if I want to. I don't even have to brush my teeth if I don't want to. And it's also much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And right now, Mindful Minutes listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash minutes. That's betterhelp.com slash minutes. Hello, everyone. We have such a special treat today. We have a guest meditation by one of my personal favorite meditation teachers. When I reached out to this woman and asked her to share a meditation with us, when I could not believe that uh, she responded to little old me, and I definitely fangirled a little bit um, when I got her email. So today we have a meditation, a loving kindness meditation from the Sharon Salzberg, and she is a meditation pioneer, a world-renowned teacher, and a New York Times best-selling author, and she is one of the first to bring mindfulness and loving kindness meditation to mainstream American culture over 45 years ago, inspiring generations of meditation teachers and wellness influencers. Her book, Real Happiness, is actually one of the first meditation books that I ever read. I highly recommend it. And you also need to go check out her new book, which is called Real Change. I have read that one as well. It is amazing. I love all of her books. I have read most of them. And I will link to all of her wonderful work in the show notes. And without further ado, I am still fangirling, but here is Sharon. Loving Kindness Meditation. In this practice... We rest our attention on the silent repetition of certain phrases. The phrases are the conduit or the guide for paying attention differently. We work with being inclusive rather than excluding, connected rather than alienated, caring rather than indifferent. The phrases need to be simple and general because we'll offer these phrases to ourselves and to others, ending in the offering to all beings everywhere, to all of life. The phrases are an act of generosity. They're offering. They're gift-giving. It's a feeling tone of blessing. Common phrases beginning with oneself are things like May I be safe, be happy, be healthy, live with ease. That last, live with ease, means in the things of day-to-day life like livelihood and family may not be such a struggle. May I live with ease. May I be safe. Be happy, be healthy, live with ease. Remember this is a form of generosity. We're not pleading or imploring that maybe someday we might be happy. It's gift giving. We're offering instead of only focusing on what we don't like about ourselves or things we're afraid of, we're opening up to this whole other perspective 
of wishing well. The first recipient is ourselves, so you can sit comfortably, close your eyes or not, let your attention settle into your body. Gather all of your attention behind one phrase at a time. You can use those four phrases I just suggested, or phrases of your own. I'd say if you're not accustomed to this practice, for now, experiment with those phrases so you have some further time to think through what you might prefer to say or not. So again, what I suggested was, may I be safe, be happy, be healthy, live with ease. You can repeat these over and over again with enough space and enough silence so that it's a rhythm that's pleasing to you. This is like the song of the heart. It's not a practice where you have to try to force or manufacture a special feeling or emotion. The power of the practice comes from the complete wholehearted gathering of all of our attention behind one phrase at a time. And when your attention does wander and you get distracted, don't worry about it. See if you can gently let go, bring your attention back.
See if you can call to mind a benefactor. A benefactor is someone who's helped you. Maybe they've helped you directly. They've helped pick you up when you've fallen down. Or maybe you've never met them. They've inspired you from afar. This is known as the being whom when we think of them, we smile. It's like an embodiment of the force of love for us. Might be an adult, might be a child, might be a pet. Who just lifts our spirits, who makes us smile when we just think about them? So if there's someone like that who comes to mind, you can bring them here. Get an image of them. Say their name to yourself. Get a feeling for their presence. And offer the phrases of loving kindness to them. Even if the words don't seem perfect, that's okay. They're the vehicle for the heart's energy, so they're serving us. And if no benefactor comes to mind, you can just remain with the offering of loving kindness to yourself. Call to mind a friend, the first friend who comes up for you. See if you can get an image of them. Say their name to yourself. Get a feeling for their presence and offer the phrases of loving kindness to them.
and then a neutral person, that's someone we don't strongly like or dislike. We just feel kind of neutral about them. Maybe they play a sort of role in our lives, like checkout person in the supermarket, dry cleaner, somebody we tend to see now and then. And if someone like that comes to mind, bring them here and see what happens as you offer the phrases of loving kindness to them. And then a mildly difficult person, somebody with whom there's just a small amount of conflict or difficulty. Bring them here and see what happens as you offer the phrases of loving kindness to them. If even a mildly difficult person proves too challenging, that's all right. That's a good time to go back and offer loving kindness to yourself. And then finally, all beings everywhere, all people, all creatures, all those in existence, near and far, known and unknown, may all beings be safe, be happy, be healthy, live with ease.
And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes or lift your gaze and see if you can bring some of this spirit of attention and loving kindness throughout your day. <laughs> 